Introducing the all-new Backsaver Swing Hopper Auger Mover. Backsavers have interchangeable parts which allows you easy access to move or swing your augers to fit your harvesting needs. Get yours today at Norwood Sales. Our weed of the week is yellow nut sedge. It's not a broadleaf, it's not a grass. Um, what is it then if it's not well, a broadleaf? It's a sedge. Or grass? It's that third class of weeds, Brian. It's a sedge. And you know, with the sedges, like yellow nut sedge, for example, it looks like a grass. So a lot of guys go out and say, well, I'm going to spray my grass right. herbicide. I got some shiny kind of grass out there. And I said, wait <laughs> a second, go take a look at that grass and grab onto the stem and roll it between your fingers, yellow nut sedge has a triangular shaped stem. It's really unusual if you've got a weed with a triangular shaped so it stem. It has three sides. It, it may very well be yellow nut sedge. And when you've got yellow nut sedge, you've got to do some different things to get it under control. Okay, so the problem is it's a perennial. It's got rhizomes, so that makes it tough. And the other problem is it's got a very waxy leaf. So yes, it at least does have leaves that can absorb chemical, but it's not going to absorb much because it's hard to stick chemical on that weed with the waxy leaf. So what are you going to do? Well, one thing, Brian, that yellow nut sedge often happens in the wetter parts of fields. Now, I've seen it out in the middle of my lawn in town on a wet year like this spring was kind of wet. I had yellow nut sedge in the middle of my yard, so it can pop up anywhere, but it's more common to pop up in low-lying areas. So that's one spot where you could improve some drainage, and that would definitely help you with weed control. Well, the other thing is you've got to make sure you have real concentrated droplets when you're spraying a herbicide. So like with Roundup, for example, use the highest labeled rate of Roundup and use the least water possible, according to the label. If you do that, you have a much more concentrated droplet. Because remember, with that waxy leaf, you get too much water on there and it's just going to run right off. So it doesn't do you a whole lot of good to spray a very high rate of Roundup if you're spraying it with 20 gallons of water per acre. So keep that water volume very low. Okay, well, hold on. I just don't like Roundup at all for yellow nut sedge control. Personally, I've had better luck with Bassagran and the crops where it's labeled. That could be in corn, that could be in soybeans, could be in a number of other specialty type crops. I also like permit, but you have to use it at the highest labeled rate possible. Then permit does an okay job on yellow nut sedge. Those are the best two products I've found. Pre-emerge, I like Dual, and Dual is labeled in corn and soybeans and a lot of vegetable crops. There's a lot of guys that use Dual in their garden type area or in their sweet corn area, certainly. Dual does an okay job on yellow nut sedge as a pre-emerge and come back post with Bassagran or Permit. That's the best options out there. And keep in mind that this is a perennial weed with rhizomes, so doing tillage is probably not going to help your problem. It's probably going to make it worse. So it does take a herbicide in a lot of cases. And more than anything, if you can dry those areas out, yellow nut sedge does not like drier conditions. It only grows, usually at least, in wetter areas. That's all the time we have for our Weed of the Week, but there's more Ag PhD to come after this.